My name is Abraham Odushino. I'm a child of God. I'm a Christian creative, a creative ambassador, and uh, I'm a driver minister by God's grace. I major with script writing, um, editing, and directing. So, by the grace of God, I was privileged to uh, participate in the script writing challenge of the Gula Christian Productions, and I came second place. Um, one of my passions is to touch the world with uh, every gift that God has given me to do a lot of what that's a dead gift that uh, I can exhibit by time. So one of my passion is to touch the world with it, to make sure the gospel gets to the world, just as in uh, as the mandate, the commission is the book of Matthew. So um, that's basically my passion, to touch the world um, with the gospel, with every gift that God has given me be it writing, acting, in, in every sense, talking and uh, I talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, so about this script challenge, um, it really it really encouraged me. It really it really brought me out of this year because I've been in this writing store for a while. Um, let's say two two years or three years. But I don't really write anything out. So it's just I write for my church. So, but I started the script writer challenge early this year, I, I, I somewhere this year. So it was already, I thought it was, even, it was even over. So I was like, oh, so I sent it to some of my friends to take it up that I know they were writing script. So but, but I, I didn't understand myself to write it. But I just felt like, okay, wait, let's, let's even try it out. Let's see what's going on. And one thing about writing script is that you can't just write, basically. Except you just want to write, but because as, my aspiration, to to write for Jesus, to write a gospel, you know, a makeup. So you can't write, you can't write with just your mind. You, you, can, you, you need to really engage the Holy Ghost. So I was like, what do you now write? I watched Mended One, I watched it very well. I watched it with my teammates and thanks to my teammates, they really did a big job of on me, <laughs> encouraging me all every now and then. So I I, we, I watched it with them, we analyzed it, we break it down, we criticized it and everything. So and I was like, okay, so now where do we start? And I just told them I was going to get back to them, I'll write my first draft and then they will see that then they will really critique it. But I was able to really come up with something. I was praying that God should just inspire me. So, and then what it inspired me, and then I was like, okay, let me start writing. So, I started writing, I started writing very, very close to the deadline. So, and then God up in his way, it came up. It was stressful. I wanted to, I wanted to give up, basically. Then I said, I wanted to give up. Because you need to write your mind, your spirit, your body, everything is into it. It really, really drains someone. So, I, but I was like, okay, let's just do it. So I just wrote with um, all the training I've had, the knowledge of the training I've had. Is, Courses I've taken and the self learning to that I've done over time. So I just imputed all of those things into it uh, to, to shape the structure and everything that then, you know, I literally submitted my first draft and I was like, okay, I just took my team base that I submitted though, it was like, I didn't, they didn't even read it because it was already the deadline date. I just submitted it and then, you know, and to, the, to go with the glory, I came out second place. In between my bosses, <laughs> first position and the third position, I was like, wow, this is, this is serious. So I thank God for this. It's, it's really an encouragement for me myself because, you know, it's making me, them, it's telling me that I should come out of my shell. So I'm literally going to come out of my shell by like God's grace. Uh, and now we see the little bit of my items. So I, I thank God for the collab push to productions for this awesome thing. It's, it's powerful for me. It's a big leap for me. So I thank God for Pekula Place too. I thank God for the for the director, the leader. I thank God for Mount Zion and Alumni Fellowship International. Thank you very much for this. I thank God, I thank God for my teammates too. For the, the seven or eight of them, they, they really encouraged me throughout these things. So and I thank the Almighty God for this. So for everyone that is out there, a writer or anything you are doing for God, please don't waste time. Just 
do it. Don't don't start wasting time or you need to be perfect before you do it. Sometimes the Bible says that it's our imperfection is going to make you perfect. So is bigger than heart. So whatever has inspired you to do, just do it. Whatever he has put in your heart, he has laid in your heart, just do it. So this is one of the things that God has used to speak to me that just do it. Why are you waiting? Because there's no time. There's no time. There are a lot of ways that can come at any time. That doesn't give you truth. So I I I just encourage you to just do it and then do whatever God has put into your heart. Write the book God has put in your heart. Sing that song, release that song that God has put into your heart. The, the world has a lot of possibility with media and tech now. So there's a lot of things that we can do. So thank you very much for this awesome um, opportunity um, to match this um, second place. I'm very grateful and I will not take it for granted. I promise to use um, this opportunity jealously. Thank you very much um, and God bless you.